breaks are incredibly important for learning as well. And there are two main reasons for that. So first of all, it gives our brains a chance to replay that information. It happens completely subconsciously. So for example, if you were learning a sequence on the piano, then if you were to take a 10 second break afterwards, your brain will actually be brain recording so that you'll be replaying that sequence and you'll be doing it 20 times faster. And it looks like it might be even better if you spend 10 to 20 minutes afterwards, either just having a quiet break, no phones, of course, having a nap or doing a round of non-sleep deep rest. Now, the other reason why breaks are important is because that newly encoded information isn't very stable. And if you were to use those same networks to, um, to learn something else very soon afterwards, what will happen is those newly encoded information can be destroyed in a process called retrograde interference. And in kids, they stabilise pretty quickly within a few minutes, but in adults, as far as we know, they're still unstable after an hour, maybe longer. So here's what you should do. Make sure you take a 10 to 20 minute break after you finish learning. Um, and if you're at work, well then just try and do those mundane tasks that you, know, you can do without thinking too much. And wait at least an hour before trying to learn something similar. Preferably do it on a different day.